Good morning, guys. Today I am with a PS3, and it is a PS3 Slim. It has a sort of fault that is called yellow light of death. Again, we will solve its issue. Here it is. As you can see. green light and yellow and uh, three beeps and red light blinking there is a fault so let's check it And uh, as you can see that uh, I have already repaired this board for the same fault, the yellow light of death by replacing the token capacitors. But uh, I hope now there is an another fault. So let's try to solve this issue. First I will check it with my power supply First uh, I will check for the power rails First for CPU uh, If you can see the oscilloscope You will find At this choke there must be a oscillation Yes this one yes and this one yes and this one yes which means the whole power rails for the CPU and GPU are in order now let's check for this CPU RAM supply it's also fine, looks fine. It is 1.2 volt, okay. And here it is another power supply, I hope it is for 5 volts. And the output is, no, it is 1.8 volts. It's okay. Now come to this point. This power supply is designed for the GPU RAM and uh, we will check for the input oscillation there is no oscillation and as usual there must be no output ports yes so another choke is here it is attached with this dual FET this choke is attached with these two FETs and this choke is attached with this dual FET chip so we must check the input oscillation here There is also no oscillation and uh, must be no output volts. Yes. It means uh, that uh, the circuit is bad here. It is due to some sort of shortage. Maybe something else, but uh, no. If there is a fault of that kind, there must be, we will must check for the fuses at the back side.
this one. This fuse is this fuse is blown up. Yeah, 1.5k, and this one it is okay. It means there must be a shortage or overload due to which this fuse is blown up. First, we will check for the shortage. Shortage must be of these FETs. For this, I will set my oscilloscope to component test mode and uh, check for the gates of these FETs gates are for this FET its gate is this one and it is absolutely short and uh, for this uh, gate FET the gate is this one it is fine and uh, for these two for this dual FET chip its gate is oh, its gate is all fine now it is looking fine and this one is also so guys the result is that uh, this chip is bad and we must replace it Okay, first I will replace this chip and then we'll put a OK fuse here. Here you can see this fold and here it is short. Yes, I got it. this one so we must remove it Now let's check for this FET. The gate of this FET is this one. Uh, we should check it. see that this gate is short and uh, it is short with with both the input and output so it is bad now I must replace the fuse so I have to get the fuse from my donor board
Yes, I have one. This one is okay. Now, first check for the shortage. Either the shortage has been removed. So, for this, I will check here. No, it is still short. But this short is fine, but here it is still short. Why it is short? We have to check it through. I have got it. And uh, <coughs> I will replace it with this bad fuse. Now guys uh, we will check uh, for the fault that uh, either it has been removed or not. Let's check it. I will insert the HDMI cable and also insert the hard disk for the fast boot and I must uh, place some heat sinks over the spreading plates heat spreading plates now I am going to turn the power on here it is and now I am going to turn it on yes hope it is fine Go to the display. The yellow light fault has been removed, but uh, still it has no display. Why? So guys, uh, here the reading should not be like this, it is showing 3, 3, 8 ohm and this is a feedback to this chip. So I have to remove this chip so that we can confirm that this shortage it is not full short but uh, it is kind of short because it should be in kilo ohm but it is in 338 ohm so let's first remove it
check for the reading. It is still 390 ohm. So it means this chip is not bad. But there is another problem. There must be these capacitors. There is a choke attached to this. These chips and two capacitors here. First I will remove these capacitors. So guys, I have to change these two capacitors as well. So now let's try to check it whether it is fixed or not. I am going to turn it on. Yes no more wire LOD and the display on the screen there must be display So guys, there were many many problems in this board and uh, as you can see that it has to be fixed with very effort, so much effort. So thank you very much and goodbye.